Hi, I'm going to show you how to oil your valves on your French horn today. French horn is a little bit more involved than trumpet or baritone when it comes to oiling valves because this uses what's called a rotor style valve instead of a piston valve. So what that means is there are going to be a few additional places where we need to apply oil compared to your friends that are playing trumpet or baritone. So first we're going to start with these valve caps. We're just going to work on the first valve today. So you're going to go ahead and unscrew that valve cap. When you open it, you're going to notice that there's sort of a little nub right at the top. And if you look closely, there are a couple of lines that are cut into that piece of metal. That's to show uh, the alignment of the valve. Next, we're going to get some rotor oil. And it's important that you use rotor oil instead of piston valve oil because it has a different viscosity. It's going to work a little bit better for you on this, uh, these rotor valves. So the particular bottle I have has this needle attachment, which I really like because that means you can put oil precisely in different places. If you have a different style bottle, it all works the same. You just have to be a little bit more careful with where you put the oil. So I'm going to first start by putting a drop or two of oil right in the middle of that nub and then give the, the valve a jiggle just so it sort of works its way in. That's the first place we apply oil. Let me put the cap back on. Second place we apply oil on the back of the instrument. You're going to notice that when you press the valve, this has a mechanical linkage. Some of your French horns will have a string that's wrapped around that helps move the valve. But there's a sort of middle post. Looks like there's a screw in the middle. You can see that there's a little part right underneath the screw uh, where there's a little bit of an opening. And you're going to apply just a drop of oil there too. And that helps lubricate the valve from this side. Okay move the valve a little bit to distribute that oil. That's part number two. Part number three is the most important and probably the most overlooked part of where to oil your valves. What you'll notice for each set of valves on this double French horn, there are two sets of slides that move and attach into the valve. You don't need to do this with every single, or with both slides for each valve, but only one. You're going to take out the, uh, the slide and then you're going to take several drops of oil and pour it down the tubing. You don't need to use a ton of oil, maybe four or five drops. Then you're going to put the slide back in. And this is how we get the oil directly inside the valve since we can't take them apart like a trumpet. Put the slide back in. And then we're going to rotate the instrument over so the oil will drain down into the valve and then move, move the lever to distribute that oil. You may be wondering, why don't we just take the slide out and pour the oil down this part of the tube? The reason why we don't do that is because there's slide grease in this tube. And if we pour the valve oil down here, it'll mix with the slide grease, go into your valve, and make your valves even slower. So that's probably the most important part of oiling French horn valves. Make sure you put some in the slide, rotate the instrument over so it can go into the valve, and then go ahead and move the valves afterwards. That's how you oil your valves on French horn.